So here we are again, going to be talking about things that are safe or toxic to have around your birds because anything that's in your house or in their cage, whether you made a perch with it or a toy or something, or just stuck it in there, if it's in there or if it's in your home, it's going to end up in your little birdies mouths because they'll chew on everything. So it's so important to know what things are toxic and what things are safe to use. Um, some things do end up on both lists, I would say, but they're generally considered safe or in one instance or something, an animal or a bird or somebody got sick over it. So they just put it on the toxic list because honestly, their little systems are so sensitive. If it even could make them sick, um, it's probably better not to chance it. So let's see. It's coming into Christmas season and I know I mentioned that mistletoe is something that's on the toxic list. Also poinsettias, sadly, because they're very pretty, but they're on the toxic list. Um, I suppose if you had them in your house and you don't let your birds out to fly, it would be okay. Or maybe put the plants in a different room um, while they're having their flight time. That would be okay too. But just make sure there's no branches or leaves or anything that fell on a countertop that they could go over and nibble on. So poinsettias are one of them. And also holly. I guess it's not really considered a Christmas plant, but kind of in my mind it is. So think about if you're decorating things with holly, um, be sure the birds can't get a hold of it and don't decorate the inside of their cage with it for sure. So it's actually a much longer list to go over the safe woods. So I'm just going to go over the toxic woods or trees and kind of everything else is okay. So I'll make, let me see. I will put lists of both in the description, but I'll put toxic woods first because again, that is the much shorter list. And then I'll put a really big list of all the safe natural woods that you can use. So for toxic woods, um, cedar is one of the very first that we should be thinking of as being toxic. It's really common to use cedar, like cedar chips and stuff, in the bottoms of, of rodent cages and rabbits and all that kind of stuff because it smells really good. But for our little birdies sake, we're going to make sure we don't use cedar, especially especially in a breeding box or something where they're actually coming in contact with those cedar chips. Redwood is also not good. These three, eucalyptus oak and cherry tree, I've actually found on multiple different lists. So I've probably found them more on okay lists than on toxic lists. But again, those are... In some circumstances, they could be toxic or they might have a reaction with your birdie. So you can make that decision. Avocado, across the board, do not let your birds be around. Avocados, avocado seeds, avocado tree plants, branches, anything. Boxwood, candelabra tree, chestnut, china berry, snow on the mountain. I'm not even really sure what tree that is, but it's on the list. Red maple, specifically. most Mostly every other kind of maple I've looked into is okay. So your lace leaf maples, your Japanese maples, um, any other color of maple is fine, but that red maple seems to be a problem. Pencil tree, oleander, locust, Kentucky coffee tree, spurges, um, holly, I did mention that already. Um, and crown of thorns. Oh, and redwood. So even if your wood is on the safe list, not the toxic list, some things could make them toxic or unsafe. So anything that's treated with a chemical, treated wood, pressure treated wood, 
um, woods that maybe are painted. So painted wood with paints that aren't safe for your bird to chew on. Because again, if it's in their, in their vicinity, they're going to chew on it. Um, also, yes, you want them to chew on the wood and you want them to work on their beaks and their nails and all that kind of stuff. But you don't want the wood to be in the state that it would splinter and then hurt them. So just make sure that your woods aren't shattering when they're chewing on it. Um, so softer woods like pine and spruce, you kind of got to keep an eye on. So that's it for now. My little honeys are kind of exploring. We got these guys inside and outside of a cage hanging out together. I kind of like that. When the branches stick out a little ways, they <laughs> like to perch on them even outside of the cage. And only three birdies wanted to come out so far. So we'll see. I'll leave the doors open and let them choose to come out if they want, but it's always up to them. So I hope you guys learned something and I hope that you keep your birdies safe. Always comment um, in the section if you have any questions about different kinds of woods or how you handle them or whatever. And I'll do the best I can. Basically, I just get my stuff from different kind of research I've done. So I will pass that information on as best I can or give you some kind of reference to a person or a website or something that has definitely done some due diligence in research. All right, you guys have a good night.